name is Gothamy. I'm a medical writer at IC Axon. The objective of IC Axon is to provide medical learning strategies for pharmaceutical companies. When a client comes to us with a new drug that they've created, our job is to create uh, workshops, learning materials, to teach their sales staff. Someone with a business background who might be selling the product might not understand the science behind it. And so my job as someone who does have a science background is to digest some hardcore science into a way that they can understand. I did my bachelor's at the University of Ottawa and I did it in cellular and molecular biology. I decided to go into grad school at McGill University here in Montreal and I did my master's in microbiology. It was a very lab-based master, it's very research heavy, and I realized that my favorite part of my program was actually the writing of my thesis, and during that time I was a science blog writer, and so I realized that this was my forte, not the actual science, but the communication of that science, and so that brought me to IC Axon, uh, where that is my job day to day. Typically, my day is an eight-hour day. My first task, like every other person who works at an office, is to triage my emails. So I need to prioritize my day and kind of make my to-do list. A really important job skill that I've especially learned in the past year or so is flexibility. Your day might start off in one field and then it might end completely differently. And it's really important to be able to kind of juggle multiple tasks, make sure like everything is on track. Part of my day is attending client calls because the client might have a different outlook than us or they might want to emphasize certain things that we maybe did not. And so it's like a give and take relationship with the client within our own team. There's a lot of collaborative action here at ICA. So within a project, there is an editor, there's a writer, maybe there's a second writer, and there's your project manager and your graphic artist. So that's your core team. Collaboration and teamwork are the most important skills that you need to have when you work in this job because you can have paragraph after paragraph of prize winning content, but if you don't have someone to edit it for you, what could have been said in one paragraph, maybe you might have written in five pages. And so you need to be able to take that feedback and implement it. And again, with the graphics team, if you are not able to collaborate with them, then your final product isn't going to have the best graphics and the best interactivity that it can have. Once I start writing, I need to keep in mind my audience. So we do do different types of learning strategies and the idea is to cover as many different learning styles as possible. Maybe you want to do animation with a narration so then you're covering your visual learner and your audio based learner and some people are tactile learners so we'll bring in workshops or we'll bring in kind of role play scenarios. Once my research is done and I write my first draft and I have my idea for my graphics, the first thing I do before I talk to anyone else is run it by my editor because they know the client need, they kind of know the flow of things and how things should be laid out. Sometimes a comma in the wrong place can kind of ruin your entire document. <laughs> and uh, in the beginning, that was a little bit challenging, but it's an important life skill to have attention to detail. So it's something that I've learned from. Once it goes through a round of review with the editor, then I'll go ahead and consult with the graphics team. And so they're able to provide me with the idea of like what will look good and like what will pop. You need a strong science background. But your best bet is to kind of do as many extracurricular activities as you can related to communications. So I've created workshops for the Canadian Museum of Nature. I've written science blogs. This is the perfect intersection of my two passions, the science part and the communication and the creativity part.